calico coat is among the most common color combinations out there, but there are a lot of interesting things to learn about it. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing some of the most interesting facts about calico cats. So first off, a calico cat is also known as a tricolor cat, and it's any cat that has a combination of orange and black pigment in their coat, along with white. Genetically, what this means is that the cat has genes that cause them to have both of the types of pigment that are possible for a cat to have. One is pheomelanin, which causes them to have orange colors, and the other is eumelanin, which causes them to have black colors. These come together to create an orange and black coat. But what about those white patches? Those come from a separate gene, which is referred to as a white spotting gene, and it causes those pigments to just not show up in certain areas on the body. This occurs during the embryo's development, and it can form into a wide variety of patterns. So your calico cat's pattern is unique. At this point, you might be thinking about tortoiseshell cats and how they also have black and orange at the same time in their coat. And yes, a calico cat is fundamentally the same as a tortoiseshell cat. The only difference is that they also have white. My second fact is that calico cats are almost all female. So you have to remember that the genes that cause coat colors are sex linked genes. In order to have both black and orange on the same cat, you need to have two X chromosomes. This occurs during a process called X linked inactivation. You have one black X and you have one orange X and one of those or the other is turned off according to some seemingly random pattern across the body. So X inactivation turns off those X's in sort of patches and patterns across the body, leading to that combination of orange and black on the coat. Because male cats only have one X chromosome, they don't have the opportunity to experience this X inactivation. And so they will either be orange or black or some variation on those, but not both. There is one exception to this, and this is a chromosomal abnormality that causes a male cat to have two X chromosomes as well as a Y chromosome. This is very rare, and it only occurs in about one in every 3,000 uh, tortoiseshell or calico cats. So if you see a calico cat walking around, you can be pretty sure that that cat is a female. All calico cats are secretly tabbies. So the gene that causes a cat to have an orange coat uh, does not work with the gene that causes a cat to have a solid coat. And so all orange cats are also tabbies. So those orange sections on your calico cat's body are always tabby. Uh, it can be kind of subtle and the coat can look solid, but if you look really closely, you'll start noticing some of that tabby patterning, the M on the forehead, the stripes on the arms and legs, the stripes on the tail. You'll be able to see that this cat is secretly tabby. Now, some calico cats have particularly pronounced tabby patterning, and these cats can be described as calabies. Calabies appear in all different types of tabby patterns, so you will see them in mackerel, spotted, classic, and ticked patterns. My next fact is that calico cats don't always look orange, black, and white. There is a dilution gene that can show up in some cats, which will cause the black sections to look kind of blue or gray, and those orange sections to look cream. So it'll look like kind of a soft, kind of washed out calico cat. Next on our list is the origin of the term calico to describe cats with this type of coat. Use of this term dates back in the United States to the early 1800s, and at that time it was in reference to a patterned fabric of the same name. Interestingly, calico cloth is made using a type of weave called a plain weave or a tabby weave. So as it turns out, a lot of our cat pattern words come from cloth. And my last fact is that calico cats may have distinctive personalities. You may have heard of the concept of tortitude, this idea that tortoiseshell cats, again, black and orange cats, tend to have kind of spunky, feisty, independent, headstrong personalities. 
And as it turns out, it seems that calico cats have all of those same characteristics. Again, the jury is still out. We don't know for certain that this is a real thing, but there is some evidence that it exists. For example, there was a study conducted and what they found was that orange variant female cats seem to exhibit more of these behaviors like hissing, swatting, and biting. These orange variant cats include both tortoise shells and calicos. The fact is that we don't exactly know if this exists. We also don't know why it exists. It seems to me that the best hypothesis is that these cats are, again, by and large female, and that female cats tend to interact a little bit differently with other cats. They tend to be more closely associated with other cats in natural settings. They have more of a need to protect their young and they tend to be less likely to roam and lead a solitary life. So it does make sense that given the lifestyle differences of male versus female cats that potentially some behavioral differences would have evolved as well. So with that in mind, I would love to hear about your assessment here. Do you think that there's such a thing as a sort of calico personality? How have your calico cats been different from your cats of other colors? I would love to hear your take on this question. I'll be looking forward to all of your responses in the comments and I'll see you next week. Thank you so much. Bye.